Have you tried connecting your Blue Yeti microphone to your DSLR or mirrorless camera, but having a hard time finding the right settings to produce great audio quality? Too much background noise, producing distorted audio, low volume or no audio at all? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the Blue Yeti settings that I have for my microphone and how you can produce the audio quality that you want, and we're starting right now. Hey, what is going on? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel and this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Aaron Sixon. And in this video, we're gonna go over the settings you need to configure for your Blue Yeti microphone when connected to your DSLR or mirrorless camera. In my previous video, I shared with you the basic setup on how to connect your Blue Yeti mic to your DSLR or mirrorless camera. I'm gonna answer some of the questions from that video here to help you produce better audio quality from your mic. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use my Blue Yeti Nano microphone and my Canon EOS M50. With that being said, let's get started. Perhaps the most important item you need to connect your Blue Yeti microphone to your camera is having the right auxiliary cable. Contrary to popular belief, there are different types of auxiliary cables out there. And the one that you need is the one with three rings, four pole auxiliary cable. The reason why is because one of the poles is designated for microphone connectivity. But if you find yourself with a two ring, three pole auxiliary cable and the issue still persists, then you'll need to find yourself with a three ring, four pole auxiliary cable. That is a mouthful. If you want more information on how auxiliary cables work, then I have an article in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out. Another topic that people have asked me about was powering up my Blue Yeti microphone using a wall outlet or a power bank. I only use a PC or laptop to power up my Blue Yeti microphone. When I tried a wall outlet or a power bank, I got distorted audio. But I do acknowledge that there are people out there who are successful in using a wall outlet or a power bank. And if that works for you, then that's great. When you go to your sound recording settings in your camera, make sure to tick it to the lowest level possible. This will remove the hissing sound or the white noise coming from the video. To prevent those hissing sound or white noise, make sure you tick it to the lowest, but not completely shut off. For me, it's one or two ticks before the lowest. The next setting you need to be aware of is your gain. Gain is basically how much you're amplifying or increasing your microphone's output signal. You need to set it in such a level where you can work with, but there are certain factors that determine what gain level you need. The first factor is the loudness of the sound source. The louder you are, the less gain you need. The softer you are, the more gain you need. The second factor is the distance from the sound source. The farther you are, the more gain you need. The closer you are, the less gain you need. My gain levels are usually set between 10 to 15% based on how far I am from the mic and the loudness of my voice. And this is the reason why I connect my Blue Yeti microphone to my laptop or PC is because I need to use the Blue Sherpa application to adjust my gain levels. You might be wondering, hey Aaron, how do you find the sweet spot of your volume when your microphone is connected to your camera? That's where this volume knob comes in. After you adjusted your gain levels, you wanna use this volume knob and make sure your volume is between negative 18 decibels and negative 12 decibels. And the way to do that is you open your sound recording settings and monitor the feedback you're getting as you speak through the mic. So you wanna make sure you're between negative 12 and negative 18. Don't go over negative 12 because you might have your audio clipped. If I find out my volume is lower than I want it to be, I'll adjust the volume later in post. You also wanna make sure that your polar pattern is set up correctly for your microphone. Set up the polar pattern to cardioid mode where the sound sources are directly in front of the microphone. I also use this mic cover to improve recording quality by reducing unwanted noises and any wind interference. Keep in mind that if you use a mic cover, you have to adjust your gain levels and your volume levels accordingly. Now I want to highlight this statement. Make sure you speak to the right side of the microphone. For the Blue Yeti, the correct side to speak into it are on its sides, not at the top of the microphone. The Blue Yeti is not an end address microphone, it's a side address microphone where the sound is recorded from the sides. Now, you might be thinking, hey Aaron, you're speaking directly to the top of the microphone. How's this working? Not necessarily, it's under my chin and technically my voice is hitting the sides for this setup. Now for future videos, I try to change up the position of my microphone so that it'd be fully upright and I can directly speak to its sides. But for now, this setup still works. For more information such as notes, links to the products used or recommended in this video, check the description down below. 
This video and my other recent videos with the Blue Yeti microphone are using these exact settings. Please feel free to tell me what you think about it and let me know your preferred settings so we can all benefit and find the right and best audio quality with this setup for everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Be safe and I'll see you all in the next one. You know what's, what's not good? Having your volume in mute while you're recording and then you realize in post that everything was in mute. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Before we end the video, check out these other videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one.